Healthcare is very hard. Healthcare is hard because you'll do something a little bit this way. Mm -hmm. And you pick up that final vote, and you lose four votes over here. Now you move it back. <laughs> it's this very tiny little road. It's about two feet wide, and it goes throughout the country. Tiny little road. A yellow brick road? Joining us now, Ezra Klein, the editor-in-chief of Vox.com. Ezra, I'm going to call Pat Robertson and have him explain to me what that tiny little road was that he was talking about. Uh, so you've, you've read the new Senate bill, Mitch McConnell's update. Uh, where do we stand with this? So this is a bill that is actually much more radical than I think people currently realize. It includes something that has been proposed by Ted Cruz. And what it would do is it would allow an insurer who is selling at least a couple Obamacare-compliant plans, so plans that, like you have to do under, under Obamacare, sell to sick people at the same rates they sell to healthy people. Long as they insured to that, they could also sell plans that did not do that. They could sell plans that discriminated against pre-existing conditions, that didn't have care for coverage for mental health or for pregnancy or for emergency room visits. And what that'll mean is that you'll segment the market again into sick people who are sort of shuffled off into these Obamacare-compliant plans. So they'll now be just for the sick and they'll have subsidies to make them affordable, maybe. And then you'll have everybody else in this basically completely unregulated insurance market. And when you look at that, it's returned to the bad old days of healthcare, the bad old days when instead of competing on cost and on quality, insurers competed on who is better at getting healthy people to sign up and keeping sick people out. So that's now the bill they have. It violates all kinds of promises. Donald Trump said in May that whatever bill he signed had to have protection for pre-existing conditions. This does not. And now we see if Republicans believe what they've been saying for years about uh, being signed up on the pre-existing conditions protections. So Ezra, they, they have, they're, the, the Cruz idea is to make sure that the, the companies are selling plans that, that do allow people with pre-existing conditions, but it's not saying anything about how much they'll cost. And it's allowing the companies at the same time to sell much, much cheaper plans. And so that undermines the, right. the offer of coverage for pre-existing conditions? Right. What they, they found, what they are trying to do is say they are keeping these regulations while gutting everything that makes them work. You need everybody in the same market for these regulations to work. If what you do is you have, let's say you have four plans, one of them has to sell to anybody, even somebody who is sick, and the other three do not. So what happens is all the sick people who can't get coverage in the other three go into that one plan called Plan A. Plan A becomes very expensive because it is full of sick people. So there's some subsidies for the sick people to try to make it work for them, but then there are people who are kind of sick but not so sick, they can't afford it. Meanwhile, all the healthy people, or at least the ones who are getting coverage, are over in these other plans because Plan A has become incredibly, incredibly expensive. So now what you have is a dumping ground for the sick and the old. Then you have these other plans, and what these plans are doing is trying to make it impossible for anybody who's sick to sign up. And the, the reason this is problematic, even if you subsidize your plan for the sick, what you end up is with this big drop in the middle because health is not a binary thing. You're not just sick or you're not sick. You could have been sick some time ago and you feel healthy now, but no insurer will insure you for a low cost because you had a pre you had a condition back then. You could have allergies, you could have depression. It could be a young woman and they expect you demographically to get pregnant, so they charge you a much higher rate. Uh, what you end up getting is all these gradations in risk management. And that just means health insurance becomes quite expensive and often unaffordable for the people who need it. And by the way, that's on top of the fact that this plan, like the last plan, like the, the previous iteration of the Senate bill, has subsidies that are completely insufficient, ends up with poor people in plans that have $6,000 deductibles. This is just not a bill designed to cover people. It is a bill designed to not cover people in a way that is politically sellable for Republicans.